Thank you for joining us for Severe Weather Week, Awareness Week. We'll be talking about severe storm preparedness on this presentation. Here in the Ozarks, we get a lot of different types of weather, a wide range of severe weather, including lightning, tornadoes, strong damaging winds, large hail, winter storms, and all of the above. So the best thing to do is have a plan of action. Know the risk and understand the hazards that are coming your way or being forecasted by the local forecasters. And know how will you get to that safe place. Also know how will you communicate to others, including your family members and friends. If you get separated during a disaster or emergency, how would you contact them or let them know that you're safe and okay? How would you get back together? And also, what will you do in different situations? Have a list of different scenarios and, and know exactly what you would do in those different cases. Also, have a safety kit. Try to make your safety kit before an emergency occurs and store it in a safe location in your house. Usually you can gather uh, items and put them into a plastic tub and put it away so you can get to it later on when you do need those, those items. Have enough food, water, and other supplies su sufficient for each member of your family to last at least 72 hours or three days. Also, remember if you have any kind of medical condition, try to have some medicine and prescriptions also in that safety kit to last you several days as well. Have a radio, flashlight, along with fresh batteries in your kit, as well as uh, include a first aid kit. Cash, because if there is a disaster and there's no electricity, usually credit card machines and ATMs will not be working, so cash is the best thing to have on hand. And also a non-electric can opener and, again, medicines, like I said before. So when, uh, when there is something coming our way, you want to monitor the forecast and watch out for any watches and warnings. Keep up to date with the latest forecast leading up to an event. Listen for any watches and warnings that may be issued for your area or any other information from emergency management. Make sure your NOAA weather radio is in working order and has fresh batteries in it. In case you do lose power, your NOAA weather radio will still be on with the batteries. Keep your cell phone uh, fully charged. And again, listen to your local media outlets, radio, TV, and social media for the latest information. This will wrap up the Super Weather Sources. Uh, again, you can visit us on our website, weather.gov slash Springfield. And this, again, will be the end of the Super Weather pre pre Preparedness. Thank you for joining us.